I'm doing great. I've been very busy with the European Space Agency. I'm, I'm head of astronaut operations. So we've got Luca Parmitano up on the space station right now. So it's always busy when we have a European in space. Uh, and then Tom Arpeske will be going soon after him. So I'm busy managing those missions. And it's the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. So I was at the Armstrong premiere relatively recently, yeah. which was fantastic. I mean, how important is it to retell these stories and remind ourselves of just how far we've come in short space? It's hugely important, um, partly to sort of celebrate that incredible achievement, but I think also to inspire people to what we're about to do. I mean, the, the plan to go back to the moon by 2024 is in full swing. We've just accelerated that by four years, um, and it's really exciting at the moment. We're building a, a space station that's going to orbit the moon uh, with a view to putting humans back on the moon by 2024, heading off to Mars in the 2030s. And what is it, do you think, that inspires the current generation to, to reach out and achieve in the same way that um, Neil Armstrong did and people like yourself have? I think for a number of different reasons, but you know, space is, is where the cutting edge technology is. It's where we're pushing the boundaries. What we ask of industry and what we ask of our companies when we're going to space is phenomenal. I mean, it has to be the best, whether it's propulsion systems, whether it's life support systems, habitation modules on the surface of the moon. I mean, this is absolute cutting edge stuff. So it's no surprise that you know, young people are really interested to be involved in it. And turning to the subject of the film, they, um, Sean the Sheen moving into space, have you been an Arben fan in years gone by? Oh, hugely, yeah, yeah, Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, you know, I, I'm a huge Arben fan. Because I mean, Wallace and Gromit Grand Day Out originally started off in space, so I suppose they, they set the path on that. I mean, was, yeah. that, the, was that your first exposure to Arben? Uh, I think that probably was. Uh, one of the ones I liked was, was the wrong trousers as well, because we actually have to wear a, a pair of trousers in space. <laughs> which are just like that, is to help prepare us for coming back to Earth. They're called like, like negative, negative gravity trousers, in fact. Like so, G-suit trousers. Yeah, like G-suit trousers, but it looks just like the wrong trousers from Wallace and Gromit. And do you think um, Nick Park is kind of inspired by, the, by, by space and he, he picks up those little touches um, and makes them into story points? I mean, with this film, obviously, the, the whole thing is based around space. Yeah. Um, and what might be waiting up there for us. I, I do, I think so many producers are, and that's what I love. I mean, yesterday I was at Space Rocks at the O2, where we were kind of celebrating art and music and culture, but all inspired by space. And it's unbelievable, you, you meet people from all sorts of walks of life, where space is the common factor. Um, and certainly in terms of movies, I mean, it's so inspirational. You think of, you know, like Interstellar, when we're talking about, you know, humans traveling out of the solar system, or whether it's The Martian, and we're talking about actually colonizing another planet, being able to live and work on other planets. I mean, it's really where the creativity is, and, and what uh, producers make of it is wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!